All right, so here I am logging in with Facebook. The first step is to simply go in and connect your Facebook account. It just takes a second and it authorizes you. Now that you get inside your network dashboard, you have your sites. You'll see I have a couple of test sites already there, but let's create a new site. All I gotta do is choose a site name, which I'll choose anything right now. Uh, let's call it test five. Uh, let's just call it scrapbooking because you know what? Who doesn't love scrapbooking, right? And uh, let's go here to the site URL. I'll just choose scrapbooking.smartmember.com. Use a subdomain. You can always map that later to your own domain. So as you can see, it's really easy to set up unlimited sites, as many as you want, that easy. But for now, let's just click on the dashboard of Dark Post Profits 2.0, an example site. You can change the course title anytime that you want. It's really that simple. You can always add modules very easily. You just click, you edit them. You can make them anything you want, such as module one. Uh, maybe I want to talk about Facebook ad basics and then hit the check mark and it saves. You can add lessons. It's literally that simple. But instead of doing that, let's just go ahead and delete this right now and confirm. What I want to do is I want to show you a different way to be able to do this using the Vimeo importer. So all I have to do right now is click this link and then log in to connect to my Vimeo account. And so when I log in here, it's gonna allow it. So for those of you that wanna do it this way, you just upload your videos to Vimeo and we will bring them in automatically. As you can see, it brought them all in nice and neat. I've already added titles and descriptions to my video inside of Vimeo, all of those. And you can just go and you can add them one at a time or by module, or you can just click all visible videos. So there you go. All those lessons were just created. Now I can edit the syllabus with one click of a mouse and you'll see it's all there. Check that out, lesson titles, times, everything, it's all there. And I can drag and drop these modules to put them in any order that I want that simple. So as you can see, drag and drop, drag and drop. Or I can even drag and drop lessons inside of the modules. It's literally that simple. You'll notice the times automatically got put in and so did the accessibility. It's right now defaulting these to public, but I can change them to locked or even private, which is like a draft. It's really that simple. So for now, let's just make it public. So before I go any further, what I wanna do is I wanna show you how to set those access levels. So let's click on this, and all you do is you create a new access level. These are like membership levels for your members. So let's call this one the basic members level, and you simply save. And then you can create another one. Let's call this one a pro members, and we set, click save. Now let's go into even one more. Let's call this VIP members. So it's really that simple. I've just created three different levels of membership that can have three different prices. And I go back, and as you can see here, I'll click on this to edit that. I click on locked. And you'll see how now I can be able to choose from those levels. So I can actually choose basic, pro, or VIP. That simple with the click of a mouse, okay? And I can make those available. I can make entire modules available. But for now, let's just keep them all public so that I can show them to you. So once you get it the way you want, you go over here to public view on the top right, and that's what it looks like. Now, I already had a Dark Post Profits logo in there. You can swap that out, and you can swap out any of those tabs and have them go anywhere that you want. You can also put in advertisements and everything. So as you see, everything showed up really nice, really beautiful, very, very fast. You can search them, but let's go ahead and view them. You can see the video imported nicely. Uh, it's embedded. It's got a title and description. It's got everything looking just great. You can even put in um, an entire description from Vimeo or you can edit that. You can upload an audio if you want just the audio and even a transcription. You can go and upload a transcription right there and it'll actually show that, which is killer for SEO purposes, uh, mind you. So um, you can go and you can take notes, put anything that you want there and save those or you could just simply browse through the modules. And so it's so simple to be able to set this up. Check this out. This all got imported. What was that, like a minute, a couple minutes, and everything just got imported? And it's so easy to change. Now keep in mind, it's members only. But So I'm logged in, but if you're not logged in, then people actually see an advertisement that says this is just for members. But they, you can choose to have the content underneath it be SEO indexed. So what this means is this whole entire site can be SEO friendly. Every single module can be SEO friendly, it's that cool. So as we go back here to the course content, the syllabus, um, you'll see there's also other tasks on the left you can do, like you can view your dashboard and see all of your stats and revenues and refunds and members and transactions. You can literally go as transactions come in, they'll show up right here. Uh, you'll be able to manage your business all right there. Uh, you'll be able to see all your different members and everything about them and be able to click on them and just see all the details you need to manage in a very nice, clean interface, as well as so many other features um, that you'll be able to gain access to. So it's that simple. You create these sites, uh, you go and log in, and if you need some training, check this out. JBZoo training, Udemy training, ClickBank training, any sort of training to be able to help you sell 
your information on all these sites to be able to earn residual income. So it's that simple, folks. It's that simple.